Use the referral link in the description to G2A.com for all of your Xbox codes, PlayStation codes and video games and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself 3% cash back. Hey guys, welcome to episode 8 of season 3 in the Achieve and Leave series. We're here at Dortmund of course and we're continuing on today with some big games. That's it, it's a very important month. We've Bayern Munich in the quarterfinals of the Pockel. We've Schalke, which is the local derby in the league. Leon in the Champions League round of 16 and Leverkusen who are currently top of the table. So one of those games is going to have to be simulated because we're only going to be playing three of course as we always do. Fortuna Dusseldorf away and Hoffenheim away will also be simulated. I'm leaning towards simming the first leg of the Champions League against Lyon to then play the second leg next month. I would sim this league game against Schalke but Schalke are the local rivals, the biggest rivals that Dortmund really have outside of the obviously competitive derby against Bayern Munich. So obviously I'm going to play Bayern, obviously I'm going to play Leverkusen because it's very important for the league. And then it's just case of deciding, do I play my rivals or do I play the first leg of the Champions League? And it's going to be uh, my rivals. So we'll play Bayern, we'll play Schalke and then we shall play Leverkusen. And hopefully by the end of the episode, be much closer to the top of the table if not in fact, in first place. We'll find out in due course, of course. Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Make sure you check the channel page for anything you may have missed over the past few days. There was an episode of the Career Mode RTG. Went live earlier on this afternoon. But right now, it's time for little Insigne to go and play big old Marquinhos. Bayern starting a very strong side. Juice Mertens plays against us in that cam roll. I think they're playing a 4-2-3-1. Or at least they ordinarily do. It looks like they might have a 4-3-3. No, it is 4-2-3 on Goretzka, Tolisso, Gnabry, Mertens and Koeman as the three behind Lewandowski. It's a very, very strong Bayern side. But we're not exactly that bad ourselves, so we'll give it a good old crack. There's Gnabry. Plays the ball down the line nicely. Jimenez is trying to catch up with Lewandowski. And finds Tolisso. Good block by Akanji and Decore will help that away. Fortunately for Decore, he wasn't able to find a goal in the last episode, despite... All of our efforts, we were able to get Usman Dembele a goal, though, our new signing, of course, or one of our two new signings, actually, the other being Ennis Bardi, who actually, I have added your suggestions, and I've set Ennis Bardi as my default set piece taker, whether that be free kicks or uh, corners, etc. And I've also changed Usman Dembele's squad number to number seven. Jaden Sancho had seven. Dembele was number seven before he left, and Dembele is number seven again. So thank you for your feedback in that regard. Hopefully, we can get ourselves a proper goal-scoring opportunity sooner rather than later. It's been a bit of a slow opening 15 minutes, but there's a chance for Bayern, but comfortable for Burki. Here's Lewandowski. That went through the legs of Guerrero. Why he didn't try and intercept that, I'm not entirely too sure. But thankfully, stuck a foot in there and we've won it back. And Royce will get that around the corner nicely. So Nelson Semedo's touch was heavy. But Marco Royce is arriving again. And Insigne is available down the outside. Dembele's in the middle. Son's in the middle. Royce is in the middle. Son at the back post. Should get on this. Has done. And somehow, with a free header, has missed the target. Kung Min Son on his own at the back post. I don't quite know how he hasn't buried that. Nicely done, Drew Smith is down the line to Serge Gnabry. He's in behind, that's a good cross too. Semedo's up and wins it well, but it will drop here to Marcelo. To Lisso, to the Brazilian again. Goretzka, Marcelo, Koeman. This is good from Bayern. Dangerous and ominous. Gnabry can't win that header. In fact, Gnabry did win that header and headed it that far wide. Under pressure from the, from the defender though, you can understand why he missed that opportunity. Unlike Hume Min Son a moment ago. It's a lovely ball by Insigne. And Royce just has enough pace left in his legs to get to it. Son. Oh. We'll take the free kick. He got the touch in front of the defender. And the foul was given. And Bardi has, well, incredible free kick stats. 94 free kick accuracy. 91 curve. It is very close to the goal. But I will, I will still try and get it up, over and in. Oh. And he's done exactly that. I kind of like Ennis Bardi. He's been brilliant with the ball at his feet in open play, passing the ball about. I haven't yet tried a cracking long shot with him, but evidently his free kicks are pretty damn decent as well. What a goal. Dortmund won by a nil. 
by Bardi, but it's dropped straight to Lewandowski. They're trying to reply straight from kickoff if they can before the half time whistle goes. Serge Gnabry back there to Joshua Kimmich. Gnabry again, Kimmich in towards the middle, and Komen gets to it first. Semedo didn't do well enough there, but thankfully. Easy Coleman missed the target, and we should now hold that 1 0 lead until half time. I'm trying to get through for one more attack if we can before the whistle, but we're not going to get it. Got a corner five minutes into the second half. Bardi will deliver it. It's a good ball in. It's headed away by Corentin Tolisso, though. Dembele retrieves possession. Look back to Bardi. Whip it early. Unfortunately, the only man there looking to get on the end of it was Insigne, who's not going to be winning any headers anytime soon. They've given the ball away. Royce, unfortunately, wouldn't let me switch to him quickly enough to get to that loose ball. And Bayern will come away on the counter. Lewandowski drills that to Kingsley Coman. Back to Bobby Lewandowski. This is a battle of pace. Coman versus Semedo. It's the Frenchman that comes out on top, but finds the side netting only with the shot. Trying to catch the keeper off guard, but it didn't work. Son, Insigne. is Mario Goetz. says, come on for... A tiring Marco Royce will look to slot that through, looking for Dembele. No one's going to catch him because he's that fast and no one can stop the finish either. Usman Dembele, Bayern nil, Dortmund 2. That might be us through to the semi-finals of the Deutsche Pokal. Lewandowski up wide, looking for Serge Gnabry. Cross could come in here. Oh, Guerrero, well, I thought I'd done well enough, but it, it dropped free. Kimmich with the effort. They keep trying to catch the keeper out of the near post. Kingsley Coman, with their last effort, tried to do something similar. And now, Joshua Kimmich from right back. Oh, it's a good save by Berkey because that was travelling. Ivan Perisic has come on for Kingsley Coman and will deliver the corner immediately. But Insigne nods it away. Seba Giovinko has come on for Dries Mertens in their cam roll. And we tackled our while there, and legally so. And Serge Gnabry was offside. We're looking very strong here. We really should be through to the next round now. I'd very much like to win a domestic trophy if I can. Or domestic cup trophy, should I say, if I can. Obviously, with two league trophies to our name so far in this career mode. We'd like to add a domestic cup with, unfortunately, no FA Cup, Carabao Cup or Copa del Rey to our name after two seasons in management. I'd like to add the Deutsche Pockel to the list. I'd also like to add the Champions League to the list as well, if I can, as well as the Bundesliga. We are in the running for three trophies this season at Borussia Dortmund and looking good. There's the final whistle. It's a 2-0 win against Bayern Munich. They're out of the Deutsche Pockel as we march on. Semi-final appearance for us coming up in that competition. Well, actually, I'm not sure where the semi-final will be scheduled. I was going to say in the next month, but it might be this month. I'm not sure when the scheduling is for the Deutsche Pockel. If it is this month, then we might see a change in the games we're going to be playing today. Uh, has the next round been drawn yet? It hasn't, not unless it's in April. Uh, and it is in April. The semi-final is later on in the season. So it'll be Schalke up next for us. Another game which we'll play and hopefully come away with the win. We're actually, ah, oh, we're not top anymore. Leverkusen have dethroned us for the time being. But three points against Schalke will see us go back to top spot. Fairman in goal for Schalke. Not sure what formation they're going to go for. Five at the back, evidently. Danny Canajuri at right back. Harit, McKenney, and Martinez in the middle. McKenney, we know, grows very well in career mode. Bakambu and Jovic up top. Slightly defensive formation, but still decent enough to do damage. Hopefully, we can be in a damage limitation mode <laughs> and get ourselves a victory and go back top of the Bundesliga before we face Leverkusen at the end of the episode, where hopefully we could put ourselves quite comfortably clear at the top of the table. Tomato the in there wide. to Dembele, looking for the 1-2. And Son is there through that gap, and Dembele again. Nice turn, good effort. Oh, he's unlucky. What a start to the game that would have been. Going 1-0 up without them touching the ball. I tried to thump that with Wolf, and unfortunately Martinez stepped in to take the ball away. Oh, and he gets lucky there. Schalke <laughs> trying their luck in the opening five minutes. So far, their luck's in, but how long that will last, I'm not sure if we continue to flow forward on attacks. Harit into the middle. Berkey gets there first, ahead of Jovic. Son, cross to Royce. Spins well into Son. Out wide to Usman Dembele. Turns back well and delivers well. And Royce with the flicked on header. Try to guide it towards that back post, but Furman read it well. 16 minutes in, still nil-nil. 
It's Royce Son, Dembele. Which way to go here to try and send the defender the wrong way. He's just not being fooled, is he? Semedo with the early whip. Oh, it's a great one. Oh, side netting only from Marco Royce. Another player with a free header at the back post. There's two games in a row. We've had brilliant chances like that. Son missed the first. Royce misses the second. Pizarro down the line to Marius Wolf. To wait for people to arrive in the middle, but they have now done so, but I can't find any of them. Decoro will get that back inside looking for Delaney. Squeeze it to Son or hit it early to try and catch everybody out, but the keeper was not to be beaten. He's been very good so far, Ralph Fairman. Can Son get to that first? He can't. We tried our best in this first half, but the opening half an hour, the keeper has had an answer to everything I've thrown at him so far. Decoro forward to Son. Royce racing through. Really at pace, though, because he's not particularly that fast anymore. Royce played in, though, onto his right. We'll look to bend it. Took a deflection. I'm pretty sure if Johannes Geis will be a corner. Royce will deliver. Bardi not starting this game, so he's not on the set piece. Akanji does win the header. But again, Fairman's right behind it. It's going to be nil-nil at the break here. Schalke haven't been able to deal with my attacking play, but thankfully their keeper is saving their bacon to this point in the game. They don't look good enough, Schalke. Not even close to it. Lay any forward. Takuro through the gap. Son back onto his right. Oh, at last it goes in. Arguably after the whistle should have gone for half time. But Kingman Son finds that far top corner. We tried a couple of times with similar efforts to find that top corner when the defender just back off. And Son finally just get his angles right. We're in front. Don't see us losing this lead now. Sane. Oh, just toe-poking that to Jovic there. And here's Danny Caligiuri in the overlap. And there's a man for it at the back post. It's Harrit. He got his technique right. He just didn't get the accuracy that he needed. Trying to bend it around the keeper and kicks it straight at him. It was such a good opportunity for Schalke. That genuinely was their first chance on goal in the whole game to this point. Royce drops his shoulder, trying to force a second to put the game beyond any reasonable doubt, but whilst it still remains just the one, even though they haven't created much so far, they still have an opportunity and a chance here, Schalke. Wolf with the first effort blocked. Royce will get it back here to Decore. Dembele's in some space. A lot of defenders back here, as you can see. Schalke playing five at the back to start off with, and now it feels like they're playing eight at the back, trying to ensure that they don't concede a second and then maybe pounce to get their equaliser, but we're determined to deny them, and so far we've done that well. Missed by Wolf on the interception, McKenney has it poked away by the German though, and Royce will get that to Son, waiting for Dembele to make the run, he just Royce. held slightly. Royce has done well though to work this space here, and we do have Marius Wolf out wide, and we find a teammate in the middle arriving, is, oh, oh, what a save. Thomas Delaney picked up beautifully by Marius Wolf, and the header straight at the keeper, anywhere else and that's 2-0 and game over looking to finish Schalke off the way we did Bayern but I'm struggling to do that at the minute a chip cut down the wing lovely ball into the middle but Akanji away win that please or we'll even just challenge for it be nice but can be trying to create something for the away side now another good ball in hooked away by Semedo and Son will bring that down how Thomas Delaney didn't make that 2-0 with that header I could not tell you beautiful ball in by Wolf here's Cedric Bakambu Still looking to get themselves that equaliser, Schalke. There's less than 20 minutes to go now. Got a couple of substitutions waiting to be made that will come on now. Dembele on for, or off for Paco, sorry. Paco will go to striker. Son will go out wide. And Goethe is on for Royce. It's a corner for Schalke. And we'll try and get rid of it. And Wolf does part one okay, but part two still to be played. Thankfully, Akanji will complete part two. And the danger is gone. Jovic, back to Caligiuri, picked off by Levan Kozawa, needed that interception, they were building nicely there, Son, there's Goetze through the middle, we'll find Paco, we'll go back to Mario Goetze, this could be the moment, the two substitutes linking up, Fermi makes the save, it drops to Son, how, how has Son not buried that, 10 minutes to go, that should have been 2-0, if only the Delaney header and that chance had gone in, this game would have been done and dusted, Still hangs in the balance. Delaney. Decore. 
Hako is two minutes added on. Despite the fact this has been one of the most one-sided games we've played so far this season, I still have never at any point felt entirely comfortable with my position in the game. I could be 4-5-0 up if it weren't for their goalkeeper. Delaney with a decent whip here. Can we make it two right at the death? Gertz will arrive and volley that, but over the bar, and there is the final whistle. I guess the most important thing is the fact that we got three points, so we'll be happy enough with that. But 15 shots, eight on target, only the one goal. Never mind, we did win, and that's the most important thing. Up next will be the Sims game against Fortuna Dusseldorf in the league. We're a point clear at the top. Bayern Munich, nine points behind us. Simist, we've got Dusseldorf and then is it? Yeah, Dusseldorf and then Leon. Then we'll play Leverkusen. So let's see what we can do here against Dusseldorf. It should be, I'd like to think, a pretty straightforward victory. They've lost their last two games to nil. Oh, oh they missed the penalty as well. That's certainly not going to help their cause, is it? Hennings, <laughs> and it gets booked 10 minutes later. Not the best of games for Hennings so far. Guerrero gives us a 1-0 lead. Stoger or Stoger equalises for Dusseldorf. I know it's away, but come on, that's okay. Hennings has actually turned it around, but Marco Royce equalises from the spot, showing Hennings how to take spot kicks. And it's a 2-2 draw there. Um, that should have been a victory, really. That would have been nice. Never mind. We should still be good enough to get a positive result away from home against Lyon. And then we can... I'll certainly play the second leg against Lyon in the Champions League in tomorrow's episode. Well, no, what you, this is Tuesday's video. In Thursday's episode of the series where we can uh, play the second leg. Royce misses a pen early on now. Oh, dearie me. Miss pens going everywhere in today's uh, simulated games. Jose Maria Jimenez getting himself booked. Away goals could be important for us, though. I'd like to think in the second leg, regardless of the score in this first one, we should be able to get a decent victory and see them off. Edin Dzeko coming on for Wesley. Dzeko, of course, we sold to uh, Leon from Dortmund here. And it's going to be... Oh, Ousmane Dembele sneaks us a 1-0 first leg victory. Pretty confident of us going through in the Champions League now. And also, now if we could win this game against Leverkusen, it could give us one hell of an advantage with the opportunity to go four points clear at the top and really stake a claim for the Bundesliga title as well. Let's go and play this one now. Leverkusen's title challenging side lines up as follows. Kudetsky in goal, Alonso, Christensen, Albiol and Sidibe at the back. Kur and Bender in holding midfield with Brandt, Havertz and Bailey as the three behind Andrea Bellotti. The back four is made up of four players that don't, in real life, play for Leverkusen. So they've clearly been busy in the transfer window or transfer windows in this save so far. Andrea Bellotti up top for them too. Someone asked, actually, in the comment section why I tend to do that whenever I kick off. Just play it to the left back. And to be honest, I couldn't tell you. It's just habit. I've just always done that. Kicked off, and either passed it backwards and then passed to the left back and then tried to go down the line. It's just, I don't know. Like I say, just habit. That's the way I've, I've always done it. Rather than, I know a lot of people just sprint from kick off and try and go straight for goal. As it happens, we have gone straight for goal. But we won't be getting ourselves a 1-0 lead because the keeper's done brilliantly to win the uh, encounter with Takure. And bat it away. Human Son could look to play Ducure. Ducure. Dembele. Oh, in again. But Royce tries to bend that in the bottom corner. And misses the target. Could have been 1-0 up in the opening 8 minutes. But we'll stay goalless. Avoiding defeat will keep us top of the table. Winning will put us well clear at the top of the table. I have it. Cross to Miles Bender. Picked off by Guerrero. And the counter is on. Insigne. Looking to accelerate away, there's Royce, and time the pass for Son, and we're in behind. Youngman Son, I'm confident in his abilities, and my confidence is well founded. Dortmund 1, Leverkusen 0 on the counter-attack. Youngman Son far too fast for their back line. Beautiful weighted pass from Marco Royce. How many times have we seen that this season? Royce to Youngman Son with a lovely assist. His 12th goal of the Bundesliga season against his former team. Thinking about it, it should have done the no celebration celebration. Never mind, I'll try and remember next time. If there is a next time. Son makes it, Dortmund 1, Leverkusen 0. Bellotti. And uh, back to Bellotti. Kai Havertz out to Leon Bailey. It's Kai Havertz again. Driving forward well. I'm looking to get around the outside. Oh, I've missed my tackle. Kai Havertz's footwork was brilliant there, and Berkey makes the save. And Bailey thought about keeping it in, but decided against it in the end. 
What can they do from a set piece? Bardi's not going to be winning any headers at the near post, that's for sure. Luke towards the back of the box and Lars Bender destroys Ducure aerially and Leverkusen the level. I'm quite frustrated at Ducure though for not winning that physical battle. He's the right side of the man, but he just gets almost the, like the, the hands on the shoulders there from Bender. You can see he's like rising up and he's got his arm over Ducure's head. Perhaps it's just expert attacking play from Lars Bender, manipulating the defender into putting him exactly where he wanted him and where he needed him to be able to get the header on target. As it happens, it not only was in target, but it went into the back of the net as well. Leverkusen fighting back, doing what Schalke and Bayern couldn't, and they may be going 2-1 up. They are. Okay, we have a title fight on our hands. Bayer Leverkusen mean business. Two goals in practically 60 seconds. Through to Son. There's Royce. Looking to fire back immediately. Son played in by Royce. Oh, this is turning into one hell of a game of football. 22, 25, 29. Three goals inside seven minutes. Two for Leverkusen, one for me. Two apiece as we stand inside half an hour. This is most certainly a title race. And one hell of an advert for Bundesliga football. What a game. Havertz played in. Oh, he's walked through the challenge. Oh, they've done it again, Leverkusen. Belotti at the near post. It doesn't stop. I just... I can't quite... But this is the most incredible game of football I've played on FIFA for a very long time. We get the tackle in there and it just falls straight back to him. He keeps it in well and Belotti just flicks that at the near post. I saw about the goalkeeping animation, but perhaps he wasn't expecting it. But to be fair, he should have been. It's a good header and then... What is that animation? Really don't know. 14, 22, 25, 29, 34... Incredible spell of football. Four goals in 12 minutes. Son, back to Insigne. Are we about to make it five? We are not. Bender. Down the line there to Julian Brandt. Are they about to go too clear, Leverkusen? Yes! Help me, Lord! What is going on? Five goals in 18 minutes. Leverkusen, 4-2 up here. As things stand, they're going top of the table again. And I just heard some boos from the home fans as well. Again, Berkey beating his near post. Again, it's Belotti that was in there, was it? Yes, Andre Belotti, his 10th goal of the Bundesliga season. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, indeed. Five goals in... Actually, I think it was 19 minutes because that read 41. Five goals in 19 minutes. Six goals in one half of football, and there's still another half to be played. We still might end up with another one. We have! Jesus Christ! It's 4-3 at half time! I just have no way to react to this. Lorenzo Insigne pulls us back within one of them, given away by the defender criminally. Son around the corner, Insigne with a first time strike. This is the most incredible game of FIFA we've played all series. 4-3 at half-time. Here's Julian Brandt down the left-hand side. Don't tell me we're going to get another goal before half-time. Berkey actually makes a save. Well, I'll be damned. Berkey stopped something. A goalkeeper stopped something. Because at the other end, Trinetsky's not exactly been setting the world alight with his performance either. At half-time, in the game between first and second, it's 4-3. Sidibe. Could go down the line here and does to Kai Havertz. Havertz whips the ball in, headed away by Akanji. We actually win a challenge at the near post for the first time in a while. Here's Leon Bailey. It's good football. But Lotti, how on earth has that gone in? The second half continues with the first half let off. 5-3 Leverkusen in the 57th minute. An eight-goal thriller so far. Christ alive, what a game of football. That's a hat-trick for Andrea Bellotti now. Hardy, Royce, flicks that on nicely to Dembele in the middle. There is Decore. Insigne has made the runner. Just need to find the right pass. Here we go. Lorenzo Insigne scored one in the first half and scores one in the second. I don't really know. <laughs> There's only so many times I can be shocked. 
but the game continues to throw up goals. 6-5. 6-5 in the 63rd minute. Sorry. 5-4. Getting carried away with myself. 5-4 in the 64th minute. Maybe it will be 6-5 at some point. Who knows? And we're on. Lovely ball to Bellotti. He's already scored three. It's on a yellow card, though. Looking to get himself perhaps an assist, although Brandt's forced himself a long way wide. Semedo through the gap there to Dembele. We'll help it on to, to Corey. And Insigne's made the run. Lorenzo Insigne in behind. Raul Albiol's with him. Both formula Napoli players. But Insigne can't come away with the ball. And another goal, unfortunately. Dembele wins that back, though. We'll get that inside there to Son. Jimenez to Decore. Nice touch and turn. Here's Paco. There's Son. Heung-min Son. No! Stolen away from him at the death by the defender. Akanzi wins that header. Decore will get it to Paco. Looking for Son. Flicks it around the corner. Lorenzo Insigne puts it over the bar. Leon Bailey. Cross it to Stebe. Bailey back to Bender, to Sidibe again. Lady Guzman just looking to shut up shop now and see the game out. And I think I'm not going to have the chance to go on the counter. I'm not. In the most incredible game of football I've played for a long time on career mode, maybe ever, considering how quickly the goals flew in in such a short space of time. That was an unbelievable game of football. That was actually silly how quickly those uh, goals were going in. We'll have a look. Let's, uh, let's see. 14, 22, 25, 29, 34, 41, 45, 57, 63. In the space of 22, 23 first half minutes, there were six goals. And then in the space of six second half minutes, there were another two. So that's eight goals. Eight goals in the space of 23, 29 minutes. Eight goals in 29 minutes worth of football. That was absolutely insane. If you haven't hit the like button already, I know I lost. But to be fair, for entertainment purposes, I'm pretty sure that's the most entertaining game of football we've seen in Curry Mode for quite a while. Unbelievable. I'm genuinely shocked at that. Hoffenheim away. Can, can we maybe bounce back with the victory and still, despite getting beaten in that game against Leverkusen, end the episode top of the table? Folland has something to say about that. The former Leverkusen man, of course, giving them a 1-0 lead here, Hoffenheim, after six minutes. And as we approach half-time and past half-time, it's still just the one goal to nil. Past the hour mark. After a 5-4 goal fest... It's going to be a 1-0 defeat to Hoffenheim. <laughs> Polar opposites. Leverkusen yet to play on match day 23. And that win for Hoffenheim takes them above us in the league. We've got Leipzig in the uh, cup later on in the season. But for now, uh, Leverkusen going to go further clear. They are. They're three points clear of us now by Leverkusen. On 46 points, Paslek wants to leave in the next window, but I'm not going to be here in the next window, so unlucky. There are 11 games to go in the Bundesliga season, and there's a four-way title fight going on. Maybe even six-way, if you consider Leipzig and Wolfsburg as title contenders, being only six points behind. I'm just done with that game against Leverkusen. That was absolutely ridiculous. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss out on more. And I'll see you next time.